uh, we understand that some of those, that delegation, were actually on a bus, an Air Force bus, waiting to be taken to the flight. And uh, at the last minute, Donald Trump announced that they weren't going. Now, the public, uh, publicly, uh, this wasn't known at all because when uh, politicians visit troops in a war zone, uh, it's not actually broadcast until they've arrived. Uh, because for obvious security reasons. So nobody knew that Nancy Pelosi and her colleagues were going to Afghanistan. Uh, now, of course, they're not. The reason Trump has been able to stop them is because they were going to be taken on a military plane, and as Commander-in-Chief, he has the right to, uh, to stop them from doing that. Uh, so uh, it's clearly retaliation for Pelosi, suggesting that Trump's State of the Union address due uh, next week should be postponed because of the shutdown. Uh, she, of course, feared that uh, he would use that address to again demand money for the border wall with Mexico. And I think we're seeing cracks in both parties over this, and a lot of lawmakers on both sides of the aisle saying that this has just simply gone too far. Uh, yes, uh, but it's a question of who's going to blink first. Uh, there's more pressure on the president than there is on the Democrats because the opinion polls are still saying, suggesting that the public blame Trump for this, not the Democrat politicians uh, and he's he's very sensitive to this he knows that uh, he is still taking the heat so he keeps trying to put forward this message of how vital this wall is he's been referring to this new caravan coming from Honduras bringing more asylum seekers uh, so at the moment uh, Pelosi and her colleagues can sit tight and wait for Trump to break the impasse. Of course, that could change, uh, but at the moment, this is a president who's uh, not getting support from this, and uh, it's noticeable that uh, this week, more workers have been called back in without pay. Until now, it's just been essential staff, like security at airport. Now, people who do the tax affairs have been brought back in because government has been grinding to a halt, and the public are suffering. So more and more people being brought back, but they're not being paid. Uh, the animosity is growing. And we're hearing that February 2nd is really going to be the date when a lot of people are going to be feeling the effects of this shutdown, right? Well, I think m many people are already feeling it. Uh, on uh, Yesterday, we went and filmed at uh, a place where they're actually giving out free food. These are to middle class, reasonably well-paid Americans are standing in line now to get food because they're living from paycheck to paycheck, and it's getting more and more difficult for them.